Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening from any part of the world. My name is Tony Hernandez Pumarejo, and I'm a person diagnosed in the with autism, specifically Asperger's, and I do different roles within my within the community. One, if not the main role that I do, is being an advocate for all of those that are diagnosed in the autism spectrum from sh you know, childhood to, you know, from children to adults, and also people that are diagnosed with other disabilities from around the world. And I also do different types of roles. Uh, for example, I'm an author and writer, uh, especially of my book called An Autism Obscripted Life, which talks about my life in the autism spectrum from my childhood all the way to the present. In this book, I talk about the challenges that I went through as being part as being diagnosed with autism. Um, the key challenges, you know, for example, being nonverbal until the age of four, dealing with struggles with social communication, struggles with building relationships with other people, uh, struggles with anxiety, uh, depression, uh, multitasking, uh, hyper you know, sensitivity. Uh, rep repetitive behavior, eye contact, and many, many other challenges. And in this book, I talk about the ways in which I was able to overcome those challenges in order to achieve key important goals in my life, such as graduating with my bachelor's degree in business and information management back in 2016, uh, be able to get into the labor force, be able to get a job, and be able to get a full-time employment in an area that according to society I'm not supposed to be doing which is the area of customer service and retail sales in fact even be able to become a manager of in a full-time on a full-time basis also be able to accomplish goal my goal of being an advocate in the community working with autism organizations throughout the, you know in the community and also being uh, you know, public speaker, motivational speaker, uh, blogger, writer, and now I'm also a TV collaborator with the program Despierta Orlando at Univision, especially in Orlando, Florida. So again, it is my honor and it's my privilege for all of you to be with me here today. So thank you so much. And in today's video, uh, this is going to be part one. Of a video of, of a special series which I'm going to be doing called an autism purpose if you have guys if you have been following me through my social media you've noticed from time to time that I talk about autism purpose or if you have seen autism purpose in a hashtag or if you read the book hopefully you read the book uh, you you saw that I talk about what autism purpose is, but I have never go, I have never gone in depth in terms of what autism purpose is. So in the next couple of videos, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to talk about the four principles which define autism purpose and the reason why these principles are the key in order to help our our people that are diagnosed with autism help them achieve their purpose in life and fulfill the mission that the autism community from parents, families, schools, organizations, and self-advocates have the responsibility of, of, of accomplishing this mission so that way we can achieve our common goal which is to help each person, each child, each adult child with autism and other disabilities to achieve his or her potential and help them achieve their purpose in life so we can demonstrate to society that people with autism can contribute and can live a great life if we help them achieve those goals. So today I'm going to talk about the first principle of the autism, of autism purpose but before I do I, I want to say that autism purpose has become my main mission of life, not only uh, as an advocate, but also of, of my life. 
and because the autism purpose covers all the principles is that our society, you know, that not only our community but also our society should be focused on in order to help people with autism achieve their purpose in life. So, without further to do, I'm going to introduce you to the first principle of autism purpose, which is called. awareness now I, now I know what you guys are going to say you heard about this term before so many times and yes that is correct autism awareness in fact I forgot to write autism here we all of us you know most if not all of us have heard the term autism awareness and autism awareness means and be able to create awareness in our society about first about the condition of what autism is and how it affects uh, people that are diagnosed with it how people get diagnosed with autism not only children but also adults which is something that it is not talked about a lot in our society but it does happen you know it is very important to realize that adults you know, people get diagnosed with autism after age 22. I have seen cases from both, you know, overall experience and, you know, research and also personal experience of adults being diagnosed with autism. So it's not only children, also adults get diagnosed. And there's many, a lot of people that show they have the traits of autism throughout the different functionality levels, but they have not been diagnosed yet. So, but overall, what autism awareness is, is to create uh, that awareness within our society of, about autism and, and how autism affects th those people that, you know, not only the negative way, but also recognize the, what are like the, the habits uh, that, that people with autism develop. And, and the reason why I mentioned this is because uh, throughout my experience as an advocate and throughout history this term autism awareness have not always been um, has been how you know uh, you know debated uh, to be honest with you guys in different circles of our community you know some people don't like to go with autism awareness because we have already reached that point and now we need to be focusing more on autism acceptance and vice versa but but this is not right now a time to go in depth into those debates, which we'll be talking about in a, you know, a little bit later in the video series. But it's very important to, very important overall, for the purpose of what autism purpose is, I'm going to go to what autism awareness can be or should be. Autism awareness, what it should be is to uh, be aware of the of how autism not only impacts uh, that person that is diagnosed with autism, but also their families, their friends, overall their community, and that's what I'm referring to as autism. You know, for me, my definition of autism awareness, but not only the challenges, but also what are the skills and abilities they get. Because a lot of times we focus on autism as being something bad, being a disease, and being something very you know, negative. But that's not the case. It is very important to recognize that what, you know that autism, even though it comes challenges, but also very important to recognize the abilities that people in the spectrum have. And it's by, by also and that's the reason why it's very important to create that awareness about what autism really is because there's different debates there's different topics as to whether for example autism is a disease or a disorder or autism needs to be cured or not to be cured or autism is a curse or not a, or not a curse from my personal experience I have been on, on different sides of the of these uh, issues of uh, for, for, for a time of my life I saw autism as a curse. 
I saw autism as something that was destroying my life every day. And I was blaming autism for all the challenges and all the struggles and all the problems and situations that I was going through in my life. But it got to a point in which, you know, I was, I was not, I can no longer uh, blame autism for the challenges and struggles that I was going through. And it became my responsibility to not let autism determine what I can and cannot do of, in, you know, with my life. And, 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 and as I was able to have that change of mindset, I, would, and be, I was able to accomplish the key goals. And eventually I was able to see autism as part of me, as part of, you know, of my life. And also recognizing that not, not only recognizing that autism only comes with challenges, but also comes with abilities, regardless of the functionality of the functionality uh, level. So overall, it's very important to be aware, to create awareness of, of what autism is, and also, and also about not only the challenges that people with autism face, but also, most important, to be aware of the abilities that people that with autism have, because they have abilities. Autism or ASD is a spectrum. It's a spectrum developmental disorder, and it comes with different functionality levels. Not necessarily. I don't focus too much on my experience on whether it's high functioning or low functioning. Um, for me, I don't like go. I don't like going with that term of functionality levels. I I like to see it more as different challenges. P people in the spe in the autism spectrum have the have, have common challenges, but also different challenges. So for me, that's how I like to see autism different challenges, you know, common challenges, but also different challenges, but at the same time, common abilities and different abilities. Because autism, as we all know, has no cure, and even though, the, you know, but at the same time, it is a condition that we need to be aware of, and not only, but very important, be able to work with it with our loved ones in all levels of society. So the first principle of, of autism purpose is autism awareness. But as I will talk in the next couple of videos, it is very important to recognize that awareness is just the first step of fulfilling the mission that we as a community and society have in helping the autism population. Awareness is not going to be enough. So on the next video, I'm going to be talking about the next principle of autism purpose, which is acceptance and understanding. So if you have any questions, anything that you would like to comment on this video, uh, anything that you agree or disagree uh, with, my, with, with, the point, with the points that I, that I mentioned in this video, please write a comment right down below. And I look forward to now, you know, I look forward to reading those comments, but also let's have a healthy debate uh, as a community so that way we can start having this conversation of, of, of how to really help people with autism achieve a better quality of life and achieve their purpose in the world. So thank you so much for being with me here today and until next time I'll see you around. This is Tony Hernandez Pumarejo and you have a good evening or a good afternoon or a good day. Thank you so much.